In this video, I'm going to share five reasons that you should not, I repeat, not start an automated office cleaning business. It's gonna be very hard for me because I'm crazy about office cleaning business. But by the end of it, you're gonna know if this is actually something you even wanna do, because I don't want you wasting time. All right, so let's get into the content. But before we do, quickly, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mike Mack, founder of automatedcleaningbusiness.com, also the author of the Amazon bestseller, Pick Up Cash, not trash, bro. I show you how to build an automated office cleaning business without picking up a broom in the process. If you'd like a free copy, the link is in the description. Just cover the shipping. I'll eat the cost of the book. Now that all that's out of the way, let's get into it. All right, this video is going to be a challenge for me, but you gotta challenge yourself, right? Because I love office cleaning businesses. All right, five reasons not to start an office cleaning business. Now, legitimately, I, I say this, I'm kind of smiling, but I, I mean it. It's gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Why? Because I wouldn't be where I am today without my cleaning business. Still have it to this very day. It's helped build be a pillar for my other businesses. It's also helped my wife and I break free from our nine to fives. And we were different people then before we started our cleaning business. So for all those reasons, I try to think to myself, like, why would anyone not start one? But the truth is, everybody's different. And there are five good reasons not to start a cleaning business. And this list was hard for me to come up with. I attempt to get through it without just cringing because I can't imagine not having one. <laughs> but I'm gonna get through this list even though it's gonna be hard on me because I want to make sure you don't waste time. The last thing in all seriousness I want is for you to start this type of business and realize, wait a minute, that's not what I wanna do. Okay, so let's get to number one right now. Okay, the first reason why you should not, I repeat not, start an automated office cleaning business is, is if you hate people. Now, I'm not joking. I talk about automation, 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 right? This is the automated cleaning business guy. So you'd say software, 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 but let me tell you something. This is a people business and software will never replace people. Now you can get really good with ChatGBT. It's not gonna clean people's offices for you. So you have to like people to be in this game. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be extroverted. You don't have to be a crazy person like me. You, you just have to like people because you are in a service industry. So you have to have a service mentality and also to get people to wanna clean for you, also to get people to wanna work with you. Just look, all across the board, you have to like people. And if you're somebody who's just like, no, you know what? Mike, I'd rather live in a cave and you know, I'd rather just make money completely online. I want nothing to do with anybody. Then I'm telling you right now, this is not going to be your type of business because to go far with this business, you need to at least like people a little bit. Let's get to the next thing. The second reason you should not start a cleaning business is automation is kind of boring. What do I mean by that? Dude, automation is boring. If you want the type of business that's going to forever be challenging you, if you want the type of business that's going to get you to just completely like every day you're going to be, you're coming to work in a suit and tie and you're ready, you're just solving problems. There's really not a lot of that. When you get really dialed in, when you find just dream clients only and you you grow slow and methodically of five to $10,000 per month, kind of like just one client at a time, eventually you hit this point where when everything is dialed in, you have great people doing what they're supposed to do and it's repetitive and everyone knows what they're supposed to do your clients pay you on time every month your cleaners know when to show up your managers are overseeing the cleaning and everyone's happy in the process after a while there's not a lot to do and I know I know I know the goal for everyone you probably look at the camera right now like this is the stupidest thing ever but it's, I'm telling you it's not because what I do now I coach people because I was bored <laughs> I'm dead serious. And and if, if I decide to stop doing this one day, I'm not gonna just go back to the cleaning business because there's not really anything for me to do there. I mean, sure, there is about, there's like a few hours a week where you're overseeing things just so I'm not completely disconnected, but it can get pretty damn boring. So if you want a business that's always gonna give you a thrill, the highest of highs, even the lowest of lows, and not too much boredom, this is not gonna be for you. Let's get to the next one. All right, the third reason you should not start an automated office cleaning business is high ticket clients in the beginning it could be really intimidating. Now, if you are intimidated by the fact that when someone's paying you five to $10,000 per month, there is going to be a little bit of a different pressure than when they're paying you $500 per month. 
that's not gonna be for everybody and that may not be for you. Now, I would love to give you, like the coach in me wants to advise you that it's like, hey, the pressure is going to be the same, but psychologically it's not because one client is paying 500 and the other one's paying 5,000 every single month. They're paid to you. Now, again, that could be intimidating, but I'm telling you right now, the people who can afford to pay you 5,000, it's because their space demands 5K. So that means, I'm, I, again, I'm telling you this is a reason not to deal, but I'm also telling you, like the coach in me is like, no, 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 it's telling you it's not a big deal. They just are expecting great service. And if you're finding great clients and you're putting great cleaners there, which is not hard to do when you know what you're doing, then you're going to have a great symbiotic relationship where everything is just working well. But again, it can feel like pressure in the beginning if you've never done it before. So like I said, in the beginning, it could be a little bit of high pressure. I ultimately know for a fact that as long as you service them, they're gonna be just as happy as that $500 client. But I just wanna be honest, it can feel like pressure in the beginning. So let's go to the next one. Okay, the fourth reason why you should not start an automated office cleaning business is you're never done hiring. No, eventually you're ultimately gonna give your recruiting away, but recruiting never stops. You're constantly recruiting, 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 recruiting. Because when you're getting five to 10K clients and you're doing it, let's say once per month, which I recommend, it's so, it's so easy to do it once per month because then you can be really picky. My company's in a place where I am being very picky. I have no interest in being an eight figure company. I don't know how long I'll keep my company ultimately, but I know at this point, we're not really actively growing super fast. But even still, you're constantly looking to recruit cleaners. Now, I believe this is the only way to do it. People want to subcontract. I think that's a nightmare. There's other videos on my channel about that where I just wouldn't do subcontracting at all. Um, there, again, I don't want to keep, that's a whole other video. But the point is, if you do it this way, which I believe is the only way, hiring your own employees, you're constantly recruiting because you just never want to be behind. You never want to need cleaners. And even though our turnover rate is incredibly low, we do get clients often, so that's what you're constantly gonna need, another three or four to pop out of nowhere. Now, since we're hiring before we get the accounts, you're essentially telling people they're gonna have to wait around for a couple of weeks, and a lot of them do, but not all of them do. So let's say you, you recruited six people and you told six people to wait on a bench. If you stop recruiting after that, and let's say the account comes and you need five cleaners, you'll probably lose two, so now you'll need another one. The point is, it's never ending recruiting, so it's, it's part of the people business. When you have a system, it's very easy and ultimately you wanna give it away, but I am telling you a reality in the beginning. You're, you are recruiting, and even though I've come to love recruiting, it might not be for everybody. So if you don't like doing a little bit of recruiting work, that might be a reason to not wanna start this type of business. Let's go to the last thing. Okay, the fifth reason why you should not start an office cleaning business is, is if you hate recurring revenue. Yeah, if it annoys you when people just pay you on time, thousands of dollars every single month for multiple accounts, you know, that could get really frustrating after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, 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 I'm not BSing you when I told you this is very difficult. I mean, most of these reasons, outside of you don't love people, all this stuff is just nothing. And it's a big nothing burger. I'm being honest. Like the, the, the whole recruiting, if you know what you're doing, recruiting is simple. You're just talking to people. The core of this really is, is if you love people and you don't mind working a little bit, because if you don't, you won't be successful in any business. That's just a fact. Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> but, but if you don't mind the work and you are you like people, then this is an excellent business to start. Again, it's so good that I had a hard time kind of trying to rip it apart. Um, it's, it's old fashioned, it's old school, it's not going anywhere, it's recession proof. It's the best business in my view that anyone could start. So if you're worried about all these things, don't be worried about them. If you're not good at whatever I just listed, get good at it. Again, one, the first thing I said was key. If you like people, then this will be a great business for you. If you don't legitimately don't start this business, go do something online, all right? But that's it for this video. If you are just starting out and you're like, all right, cool, but I wanna skip a lot of the mistakes, how do I do it? Click the first link in the description, book a call with my team, see if we can help you. If we can, we'll show you how it looks. If not, at least you'll learn a lot on that call. For everyone else, keep watching more content. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.